heat dissipation from an infant to a cold object in the environment describes what type of heat loss? So is it conductive, is it convective, or is it radiant heat loss? So let's review all these different types of heat loss, okay? So our methods of heat loss. So first is conductive. So conduction, I always think about that D and conductive equals direct contact. So that's when you go to the doctor and they put the cold stethoscope on you and you go, whew, that, that stethoscope is stealing your heat directly. Um, you put a baby on a scale and there's nothing to protect that baby from the cold. It's going to steal its heat directly. If you have really cold hands like I do and you touch that baby, you are stealing their heat directly through conductive heat loss. So think conductive with a D equals direct contact. Then we have convective with a V. So you can think of air currents or ventilation. So convective heat loss is if you're hot, oops, sorry, I hit my mic. If you're hot and you have a fan for yourself, you're trying to decrease heat for, from convective heat loss. When we're resuscitating babies in the delivery room, we wanna have the side rails up to protect that baby from convective heat loss, from air currents hitting the baby. So I thought V, ventilation, air currents, however it can make sense to you, but convective is those, those air currents or that ventilation that's happening in the room. And then evaporative, um, I think all of us have probably experienced this if you've gone swimming, even on the most beautiful hot day and you get out of the water, it's like, oh, kind of cold for a second because all that water on you is, is turning into vapor. So it's evaporating and it's taking your heat with it. So evaporative water or moisture turning into vapor. And of course we can think about our babies when they're first born, they're covered in amniotic fluid. They have a lot of heat loss there. Um, when we give baths, they have a lot of heat loss there. Uh, so Evaporative is that water or moisture turning into vapor, stealing the heat. And then lastly is radiant. So radiant is that heat loss or gain by an object that is not in direct contact with that person or that baby. So for us, you could think about if you're sitting in a classroom next to a window and it's a hot, sunny day and you're hot, even though you're not outside in the sun, but you're feeling that heat from the window, that's radiant heat gain or vice versa. If it's a really cold day outside and it's snowing, um, I know a lot of you guys, you're in Nebraska and um, Pennsylvania and things, places that I think of that it probably gets really cold in the winter. Um, if you're sitting next to the window, it's snowing outside, even though you're inside, just being directly next to that window, you're losing heat to that cold that is outside indirectly without even touching it. So um, radiant is heat loss or gain by an object not in direct contact. So our beds have double walls to protect our babies from radiant heat loss, because if there's only the single wall, they can lose heat from the temperature in the room or being next to a window, things like that. So that's radiant heat loss. So with that, we have heat dissipation from an infant to an cold object in the environment. So making sure that we are paying close attention to how it's phrased in the question. So not in direct contact with the baby, but in the environment is radiant heat loss. So again, always make sure you read the question really carefully, review what you know, write down what, if you need to, how you know these different concepts and eliminate your wrong answers. You can do it. I'm so excited for you guys to get your RNC. 